Welcome to Patient Insight 1.0. This is an entry for the CCDA Rendering Tool Challenge. We will be reviewing the typical workflow that a user might follow when using Patient Insight to access a CCDA document. Along the way, we will explore some of Patient Insight's additional features and capabilities. Upon accessing Patient Insight, the user will be prompted to upload an XML file. After clicking the button, you can browse to the file manually, or the file can be directly dropped into the window. Patient Insight will pull the patient's information into the main file view. You can see the patient's age, name, and additional information at the top of the screen. You can navigate back to the top of the screen at any time by clicking Patient Details at the top of the section index. The entire patient view is responsive. If the window is resized, the menu and data sections will automatically be resized or rearranged accordingly. In the left sidebar, there is a drop-down menu of filters, which will automatically limit the displayed sections according to the needs of a particular user. Click the blank filter to restore the hidden sections. If you want to navigate to a particular section, click the section's name in the left sidebar. Any individual section can be hidden by clicking the trash can icon. The other sections will automatically rearrange to fill the gap left by the hidden section. You can restore hidden sections by clicking their names in the sidebar. Some long sections are displayed in a collapsed accordion. You can click to view the details of any particular item in the accordion and then simply click again to collapse the item. If you want to upload a different CCDA at any time, just click the file icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Again, you can either browse to a new file or drag and drop it into the browse button. This has been an overview of Patient Insight 1.0. Thank you for watching.